right, we're going to take a look at some factoring review. Everything the whole way back to just finding a GCF, right? So these ought to just be a greatest common factor. If you have two X's here and five there, it means you have two in common, three and four, so Y to the third. So what would be left is X squared Y cubed is divided out. So it's one, that's a big idea that the whole thing goes away. So you should still have one X cubed Y becomes the second half. And the second one, we're still looking at GCF. So we're gonna add in the numerical part and they're both divisible by four. Uh, X, the lowest number is two. Y, the lowest number is three. And I don't have a Z on the second half, so I gotta keep that. So 28 divided by four is seven. X squared, X squared, so it's gone. Y cubed, Y cubed. But I do keep a Z cubed. Plus this is gonna be six. X cubed, X squared, so I got X to the first power, or just one. And we're gonna keep a Y on there as well. All right, so that's just your greatest common factor type of problem. Uh, next thing we're going to is some trinomials. So we're going to start, remember, we're going to do 4 times 9 is 36. We're looking for factors of 36 that add up to 13. They have to add to 13, so that's 4 and 9. I know the signs are the same, both negative. So I have 4x squared. I'm going to use minus 4x minus 9x plus 9. And all I did was I took these two numbers here, I threw an X on them, and I took care of the sign to put them right in the middle, right? This is your factor by grouping, building a bridge method, if you will. All right, so GCF of the first two is 4X, so I get X minus one. I need to get X minus one again, and this helps me identify that my GCF is negative nine, not just nine. So 4X minus nine and X minus one is what we're gonna get. So that's kind of the big difference. I always like to tell kids, make sure once you get the first one, the X minus one, just leave a little space and write this one again. They have to match. It helps you identify changing that sign. All right, let's see what happens here. We get four times 35, so that's 140. And we want the factors of 140 that add up to 27. All right, so we wanna work with uh, seven times 20. Since we want the signs to be the same, they're gonna add up to 27. So here we go, four X squared plus seven X plus 20 X plus 35. GCF for the first two is just X, so four X plus seven. I need to get four X plus seven again. So that means in this little space in between, 20 divided by four is five. So that means it should be plus five. 35 divided by seven is five, so it works out x plus 5 and 4x plus 7. All right, so that's our factored form. That's those trinomials, especially when the a value is greater than 1. Uh, next thing we have factoring completely, these are uh, difference, right, because the subtracting of two squares. Okay, so we get 5x and 5x. Square root of 16 is 4 and 4. Sign in the end is negative, so I need 1 plus, 1 minus. That'll get us through these. If we throw an extra variable on here, okay, we got 6x and 6x, we got 11y and 11y, we need one plus, one minus. We're multiplying, so the order doesn't matter which one is negative and which one's positive. Difference of two squares. All right, let's bump it up a little bit. Let's take a look at some cubes, right? These are both perfect cubes. So remember, this is y cubed and this is four cubed. So we need the binomial, y plus four. Those are our bases that we had. We need the first term y squared. In the middle, we're gonna have the bases multiplied by each other, so that'll be four y, and on the end, I need four squared to get 16. And soap is how we remember the sign. So we do want the same sign, I want the opposite, and then it's always positive on the end. So soap, I know we talked about that in ouch two as well. All right, so we have a little bit of everything. Notice I put a little critical thinking on here. So what's gonna happen here? This is even, so it's a difference of squares. So it is eight minus b to the third and eight plus b to the third. But we're not done yet because eight is actually two cubed. So this one is pretty layered like an onion or a parfait, if you like either one of those. So think about the base being two cubed and b cubed. So I need two minus b, then I need four plus two b plus b squared. 
Then we're going to have the same thing with the positive. So we're going to have almost the same thing, but we're going to flip around some signs. So 2 plus b, that comes from 2 cubed plus b cubed right here. And then we're going to squeeze in 4 minus, right, I get an opposite sign, 2b and plus b squared. Okay, so that is factored as far as we can go. The trinomials in here are going to turn into some quadratic formula. Uh, but that's where we want to get it up to. Okay, so looking for those layers, that's where it really is higher level algebra 2 and into pre-calculus. All right, factor completely. The word completely usually implies is a GCF on top of things. It's the very first thing I see that they all have an X. So I'm going to take that out. While I'm doing that, I'm going to rearrange it. So it's X to the fourth minus 5X squared and then plus 4. And then it becomes a little bit easier. Um, x to the fourth is even, so that means I can make this x squared and x squared. And what factors of four add up to five? That's four and one. We know the signs are all negative. And then look what happened here. I have a difference of squares and another difference of squares. So x plus two, x minus two, x plus one, and x minus one. So that one's extremely layered, uh, but that's what we're getting up to. And the key there is when it says factor completely. I put some variables on here. Uh, I went ahead and said that was 80. So the factors of 80, they're going to give me 2. All right, what do we got? Uh, 5 times 16. Uh, so we're going to go with uh, 4 and 4 here. So does 20 and 4, does it give me 2? No. Right, so we'd have to rearrange and try and figure out what we can do. So I might not want to use these factors, maybe use two and eight. Okay, so here we go. We're going to use 10 and eight. Okay, so that's how you kind of work through some of those different combinations until you get what you need. Uh, we do want positive two, so I'm going to get positive 10 and negative eight. Um, I did look, I didn't say it, but I did look for a GCF. I just don't have any. Right, this one starts off with all these variables, but I have an even here half of it here, even here, and half of it there, which means I can just turn that into the fourth power. So 5r to the eighth plus 10r to the fourth, q to the fourth, minus 8r to the fourth, q to the fourth, minus 16q to the eighth. I'm running into my other work here a little bit. So GCF, 5r to the fourth, so that gives r to the fourth, plus 2q to the fourth. The good thing here is I don't see a GCF. Uh, so we need to match that again. So r to the fourth plus 2q to the fourth. That means my GCF has to be a sign changer. And 8 and 16 are both divisible by 8. And leave a little more space here. We're going to have q to the fourth. So negative 8q to the fourth. All right, and then finally rearrange it by putting my GCFs back together. 5R to the 4th minus 8Q to the 4th. Don't let all the variables confuse you. All right, so that's where we're going to be. That's a Q on the end. Oh, my goodness. All right, that's not bad. All right, so just looking at those layers, watch out for those. All right, and the next one we're going to factor completely. And I just want to throw this one out in front of you. It is a difference of squares. So this is as simple as x squared minus 25, right? Except for they're written as binomials, right? I could challenge you. You're up to it, right? So that means you need x minus 1 plus 3x minus 5 times x minus 1 minus 3x minus 5. Okay, so this is our x plus 5, and this is our x minus 5. All right, so what we're going to do here is I can't do anything inside the parentheses, so we'll work inside the brackets. So I do have 4x, I have minus 6, and I have x minus 3, so negative 2x, double negative here, so plus 4. And the last thing we could do is I do have a GCF hidden inside of here, All right? So this has a 2. 2x minus 3. Uh, this one has, you want to use 2 or negative 2? I'm going to use negative 2 and x minus 2. So I can go ahead and put these together. So negative 4 because this is all multiplied. 
2x minus 3 and x minus 2. All right, so this was pretty heavy factoring review, and I gave you some new stuff on top of it. So take your time and make sure you're ready to ask some questions when we are together. Peace.